welcome to data pandit so today we are going to talk about uh, some important uh, commands as actually so let's say we are working on command line right so these multiple of these uh, examples are maybe from a initial interview questions as well so let's say we are working on mfs and we want to know the you know depth of the mfs so it's an m underscore expand command hyphen n and the path of the mfs file system okay so this is how we can know that so there in uh, there are diff multi many times when we develop some things and we release the things right we create the tag we promote the tag into the higher environment sometimes we need to know the difference between the checked in graph or sandbox my sandbox graph or between two different sandboxes let's like say i am working in one in team and some other is working in another team so i want to get the difference between two uh, graphs like my graph and the graph which is sitting in another sandbox other another user's graph right developer graph same graph name but the path is different sandbox path so air sandbox difference is the diff is the important command this you know it displays the differences between two graphs it's comparing two two graphs or files in different sandboxes or you know let's say dml i'm going to compare basically or if i want to compare my sandbox file which is called b.dml to the technical repository file in the sense of the graph uh, the dml which was already checked in so if you want to get the difference right so so that i can check that where, where did i have changed basically and comparing graph of sandbox with current eme version graph you know my graph is there current eme version the specific version i want to compare with let's say i have checked in one of the version let's say last month and then there are some changes on top of that but currently i want to compare my graph which is there in my sandbox to the version which i have checked in multiple days before let's say one month so i get the difference i get the versions of the ar object versions right i will get the version of this graph and i will put the version over here you know current eme version so it is in current it is a, if it is a current eme you know the latest most eme version then this is the command if i want to compare any other version then you need to give the version of eme right and then the sandbox path of the graph so this is how we utilize this air sandbox different command it is very very important we to need to know this is as kind of day to day activities basically as part of development activities in uh, ab initio projects also uh, sometimes we need to diagnose the issue we need to see that whether what did i have changed so that the graph is not working in production or something like that you know in those scenarios also we need to utilize we may utilize this uh, this command to get the difference between the versions of the graphs basically now if you want to count the number of fields in a file right so then i can let's say header is coming with the fields right so i could get the header hyphen l file name as cd i can you know come i can uh, replace the uh, field delimiter with new line and then i can you know count those number of lines right those many fields would be there maybe plus minus one so you know that that you can check this command basically right so basically i would what i'm going to do is i would get the header of the file or may, maybe any other record right and then i would be pipelining this to sid command and then i will replace this uh, delimiter this is my pipeline delim pipe delimited file basically so this pipe i'm going to replace with the new line so that it becomes every field becomes one row and then i will count the number of rows in the entire this one i will pipeline this so this is a kind of important command sometimes and uh, then there is an, uh, another command called plan admin set command so that we can set the parameter right which is declared in the plan level so i can set the parameter which is declared as a dynamic in nature in in plan and i can set the another value to the parameter name i would need to have and then the new value so so that i can assign this value and this parameter name will have the new value so this is a dip, another command it can be executed within a, a plan uh, uh, you know program task or any other uh, script where we can execute the commands right in those places or i can create the uh, you can i can you know from the command line also i can execute this command basically 
and then there is a you know, password encryption command basically this is very very important you know so i mean so multiple times we need to encrypt the password right development password getting changed or any other environment password getting changed so i need to encrypt those passwords and then i want to utilize in those password into the ibinitio rc file or any other configuration db configuration file or so on so that we can uh, so there are the command m underscore password prompt command and password so if you give, if you don't if there are some special character right so then you don't try to use the you know simple password keyword use try to use the prompt and then type your password and then you know do the enter and then retype the password and then create the encrypted password but if you have a single simple string password right then you can utilize this right so if but in case of um, uh, hyphen password com, uh, password uh, options you can uh, enclose en those uh, you know character or you can you can escape the those you know special character using backslash using the backslash you know so these are the commands and also the restrict so the restrict and restriction if it is unrestricted right there are two alternate options if you want to restrict the password which is created you know to yourself or to the group you know um, right so the depending on the restriction so there are three time type of restriction level i think so so, so you you only can use this password or any other you know within the, within the group or within some 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 third level is there also so the restriction level you can specify for the encrypted password also if you want to do unrestricted that also can be done so these are the different uh, uh, you know day to day commands basically day to day abinitio commands you know thank you so much please subscribe my channel and we are going to see other concept with respect to abinitio in times to come abinitio aws and sql as well or uh, data warehousing architecture okay so we want to plan it okay thank you so much